everyone, it's Andrew here from Craps Down Under. Today I'm going to run through the 1324. Yeah, with a bit of a variation, I'm going to uh, swap uh, from pass to don't pass uh, based on uh, getting two wins and then I'll swap to the opposite bet. With the idea being that we're not expecting as many uh, win streaks on the pass line or the don't pass. So we'll, we'll just follow follow the wins as we get them and then we'll flip after we get two wins to the other side. So, got some dice here, that'll do, got two, let's get started, we're on the four, thousand dollar bankroll, fifty dollar wager, and straight up, seven out, so might have been a better thing to start on the don't pass, that's okay, the idea is we're going to track Track what happens here. Eight, eight's the point. Ten. Four, needed that previous roll. And there's a seven. So two don't pass winners. So we've seen two don't pass winners. So obviously we were on the wrong side. Um, so we'll stay on our pass, pass line. I'm gonna stay on this side. You just seen two don't pass wins, so we'll assume we're going to get two uh, two pass line wins. So on the six, let's grab that and back to back, straight up. We got it. So we win. Put our little bit down. Now, I did put our money at risk um, on those first rolls. You could observe the table and go, yep, I've just seen two, two pass lines or don't pass and then flip it to the other. You don't have to have put your money up. But we could have easily just as won as, as we just lost. Um, now seven out, that's a come out winner. That's perfect. That's what we're looking for. Uh, we get paid. So that's our, that locks up profit. We go down to two units now. So as you can see, we're 100% in our rack and we've got two units in play. Now we just had two wins on the pass line, so we're gonna go for the don't pass now. And we're on the five. Uh, ace deuce. Oops, pick that dice up. Uh, four, nine, ten, nine, eight, and there's our seven. So that's our first uh, don't pass winner. We do win $100. And this one is our second, we're going for our second don't pass win. So let's pile it up to uh, the four units. And if we actually get this one, that means we've made five units. That means we'll have made 500 bucks. Um, that's what happens. Come out seven, not to be. So that was our bonus round, got, got claimed. So we didn't quite get our two don't pass wins. It's okay, we start over. So that was a, a pass line win. So again, we'll go to pass line. Just follow what the table's doing. Uh, 10. 10's the point. So remember, pass line just had one win there because uh, it came it come out seven. So this will be the second pass line win. Working on the theory that we get a lot of uh, doubles, we get pass line a win twice and don't pass. So just working on that theory that we'll stick with that as an idea. Uh, so nine, doesn't do anything for us. Uh, eight, doesn't do anything for us either. Just hoping we can get that, uh, that 10. Ace deuce. Six. Four. 
be stoose again. Midnight. Eight. Uh, six. Uh, eight. Came hard. That's twice as come hard. And ten. We got the point. Awesome. So, get the point. We parlay our win. Add ten dollars. This is the three unit level. So on our last one, when we got to that, that through this uh, this particular phase of the bet or of the sequence, when you get a hit here, you've actually profited uh, two units. So in that case, we actually did profit our hundred dollars, which is why we reclaimed and reclaimed our previous losses, which were a hundred dollars. So we've had two pass line wins. Remember, we got to come out seven, shoot us hit the point. Now we're going to go to switch to don't pass on the theory that we're just working on, on um, twos. Eight. Eight's the point. Seven out. That's what we like to see. All right, so we rack up our win. And we go down to $250 units, as you can see there, 100 bucks riding. We're up in our rack, 125 in our rack, we're up. Now that's, we've just now had um, two don't pass, sorry, that's our first don't pass win, sorry. What am I saying, two? That's our first don't pass win, we've got one more, and then we'll flip to, to uh, pass line. Six. All right, aces, they would have been nice on the previous roll. Eight, nine, nine again, ace deuce, nine, and seven out. So we win that one. All right, so now this is the fourth level, we parlay. But guess what, we've just had two don't pass wins. So now we go to the pass line. Six, I was hoping for a come out winner. Aces. and there's our seven so remember this is the bonus round we've already locked up our um, our two units of profit we already locked them up here we we're playing for the for the big win the bonus round so we take that back now if you were if you were less aggressive you could just stop at the three and go you know what I'll just I'll be happy to rack that up um, so you could make it the one three two strategy rather than the one three two four there's nothing wrong with that in fact we've got to this level twice already so given that uh, that's how much we would have won uh, I can kind of show you it's a significant amount of money that we've actually passed up by going for the bigger win all right put that together that's pretty much 400 bucks we've got there uh, that's a that's a chunk of change plus with the the wheat previous wins there 500 bucks you go home so the 1324 is fine but what, what what i'm seeing here far more achievable is the 1132 and maybe that's a, a good way to play and uh, just start over after that so why don't we try that uh, we just seen we didn't get the the pass pass didn't win we've now had a don't pass so we'll start on the don't pass because he's just had a win we're going to go and try and go for the follow the back-to-back -back wins uh, it's a five. Just on the theory that wins come in twos. Uh, seven out. So there we go. Parlay up. Put our third unit. Now that's the second win on the don't pass. So now we flip to the pass line. On the four. Not the best number to be on. But it doesn't mean we won't hit it. 
sometimes you do. Six. Ace deuce. Uh, nine. Nine's been hitting quite a bit tonight. Uh, four. So we made the point. So very, very happy about that one, of course, because that is the kind of critical role in this strategy. It is the, the role that you really want to get your profit on. So there we go. Take that win back. Knocking over chips. Take that win back, then regress down to the two units. So why don't we uh, why don't we just go for the two units? So that was our uh, first pass line win. Now we're going for our second pass line win. Four on the four again. Six came hard. Yo, could have used that. And there's our seven. So didn't get there. But that's okay, we've locked up 100 bucks profit and I'm okay with that. So that was there clearly, that's the first don't pass win because we sevened out, so you try, okay, that's win number one for the don't pass if you were playing the don't pass. So now we're gonna go and try and go for another, we'll follow that and go, okay, that's win number one on the don't. Let's try win number two on the don't, so we're gonna go on the don't pass. Six. And this is just doing a, basically a zigzag. Uh, we're just zigzagging backwards and forwards across the, the, the don't pass and the, the pass. Eight, oh, sorry, nine I should say. We're on the eight, we don't want to hit the eight. 10. Nine again. Nine again, it's three nines. Uh, hard four. Uh, ace deuce. And there's our seven. So, so far, doing okay. We had our extra unit. So that's two back-to-back -back wins if you were playing don't pass, even though we were only on the don't pass for this last bet. But now we're gonna go assume that, well, uh, flip to pass and uh, hopefully we get this one eight and seven out not the one we want to lose on because that's where we've got our two units exposed but that's how it goes so again uh, pass line hasn't won uh, it didn't get its uh, get its win. We got another third don't uh, win. So the question is, is uh, what do you want to do now? Um, do we follow the don't because the don'ts just had three back-to-back -back wins? So I'm going to stick to this one and say we're still on the pass. Ah, aces. Now there you go. That would have been four back-to-back -back wins on the don't pass. So. We've been caught out. Go back into pass line. Seven out. We'll come out seven, which is kind of good for us. It means we win back what we what we previously lost. Um, Parlay up the win plus an extra unit. So now we're going for a second pass line win, and we got it. That's the one we do want to win. So that gets us back up in our rack. Plus we take, take our profit, just leaving two $50 units. Now, because we've had two pass line wins, we flip to the don't pass. <laughs> we should have stayed on the pass line. We would have got the third. Uh, obviously the theory of uh, uh, pairs, uh, two wins and two, two here is not always going to hold, but a lot of the time it does. And the idea is we're just trying to avoid saying, well, hey, getting three 
wins on the pass line back to back or three don't passes may be harder. It might be easier to get, you know, two on one and two on the other. But as you're seeing here, that doesn't always hold. So we lost there. So again, pass line win. We'll go. We'll um. We'll stick to the don't pass again. Stick to this one. Nine. There's an eight. Aces. Seven out. So we got that one. Win. Parlay unit. All right, so this is our first win. First win for the don't pass. So now we're going for the second win for the don't pass. Nine again. Nine's been hot tonight. So I'm a little bit worried. All right, 10, game hard. Six, easy. And there's our seven. So that's, the, that's the one we really want to get through. And we prevailed. So take that back in our rack. And down to two units. Two $50 units. So now we're going to flip to the don't pass. Uh, so, sorry, from the don't pass to the pass line. Because we've had two, two wins on the don't pass. So we're going to flip to the pass line. See if we get, this is the bonus round. We've already locked up a $100 profit. So that's good, that does pay for the previous loss. So we're kind of treading water until we get the sequence that gives us the, the, the nice win. But you know, this is two, two units riding that uh, hasn't come out of our bankroll, it's come out of our win. And there's a seven, perfect. So right there, that's, if we were to stop at the 132 level, we can just rack that. We don't have to go to the four. So I'm kind of show, showing a little bit of a variation here. Um, you just don't have to do that. You don't have to go and go for the four because I have noticed with the, everyone, uh, Jacob's channel, a few other people playing this, you don't always get that fourth level. It's fantastic when you get there. It's like, it's a beautiful win. It's a, it's a nice big win. But you're more likely to get to the third level, you know, um, quite, quite a lot easier. And in fact, we've got to that third level. <laughs> this is the third time we got to the third level. And the other two times we squandered that nice win trying to uh, get the next level. Uh, by keeping it in our rack, we've practically, um, what have we got here? Um, we've practically made 450 bucks. And that's a nice win, given our bankroll of $1,000. Had a really nice win. We haven't done too much. There was no heroics. All right, so 450 bucks. All right, really, really satisfying win. All right, didn't do too much. 450 bucks, really, really nice. Playing one of the lowest house edge bets. It would be lower if you were laying odds, but remember we are, when we're playing pass line, we want to maximize those come out winners. Um, probably playing the don't pass, you could do a bit of a split, but then again, you've got to lay more odds. It does get complicated to do that. So to avoid all that complication, I just keep them as, as flat bets here. But in anyone's language, you know, making half your, almost half your bankroll um, with very little drawdown is a really nice win. Now, it's not always going to go this way. But I actually do think there was merit in flipping, flipping our bets backwards and forwards. We're not trying to get as long a streak. Does it really matter at the end of the day? Probably not. Um, you're going to see uh, sessions where you get th you know, back to back, it's three wins. And sometimes it'll be just alternating you know, between the two. And sometimes there'll be a mix and there'll be no kind of pattern. But I have noticed patterns where it'll alternate. Um, you get two here and two here and two here and does that quite a lot more than I expected. But it's not always gonna hold. But 
as you saw, we easily got to our third level. And um, you know, I've been, as I said, I've been watching, um, I think it was uh, Square Pair and, and Jacob and, and all those guys got together and they were playing live and they got to the third level numerous times. But the fourth level was sometimes hard to attain. I don't think they did in their session even get to the fourth level. So I'm gonna call this probably the one, three, two, <laughs> stop there. That way you had two wins, right? You, you, so you've had two wins, you've had the one unit and you've had the three. So two units of risk pays you two units of profit. That's the way you can think of it. So you've risked two units and you've been paid fair and even payout for your two units of risk. Obviously at the start, you're risking one unit. It's only on the second win that you're risking the two units. So it's kind of nice in that respect. If you're getting a loss streak, you're only ever poning up the one unit each time. So it's only when you get the first win that you pony up with the second unit. And uh, by doing that, at that point, then you've got two units of risk. But guess what? You're getting paid even money. And then as a result of that, you've now got another two units riding on the felt to give you that extra kick, that nice win there. And uh, you know that's a $200 win effectively is what you end up with in your rack. So having $100, then you're gonna win, you got 100 unit or $100 riding on the felt, you win that, that's another $100. So it's a total net win of $300. It's not as nice as going to the fourth level and betting the four units and making 10 units of profit. But I, I, I can tell you now, you'll definitely make the one, three, two, so much more often than you'll make the one, three, two, four, getting to that, that fourth level. So I actually think it's a, a reasonable, reasonable trade-off to just go for the three wins. And uh, I just thought I'd try it here, just alternating backwards and forwards. And it seemed to do us mostly okay, but I also noticed that there was quite a couple of occasions there where we had triple wins on one side, either pass line or don't pass. And if we'd have stuck on the one side, we would have actually done better. So swings and roundabouts. But nonetheless, all that said, $450 wins, a solid win. And um, you don't have to play this at the level I'm playing here. Uh, I'm playing it at a, at a $50 level. You could play it at a $10 level. You could play it at a $20 level, a $15 level. Pick a level that you're comfortable with. Uh, you don't have to play this on its own. Uh, you can play it with a whole lot of other things. And there are, uh, you know, I think Square Pair and a few other guys were, were experimenting. Even Jacob showed doing a pass line, the don't pass progression using just the don't pass and playing the six and eight. And they actually go really well. If you do this progression on the don't pass and the six and eight, as Jacob showed, they actually go hand in hand quite well together. So, and the reason is he uses a, a negative progression on the six and eight and a, um, uses the positive progression on the don't pass. So as it turns out, when you're having really short hands, that's typically because you're sevening out and this guy here, the don't pass is winning. And uh, this one, he then, uh, because it's had a loss, he levels up to the next level. Uh, but as this one progresses, he's making more and more money down here. So it kind of, they both look after each other in a way. And when this guy's getting beaten up, these guys are usually getting hit because it's a longer roll. The don't pass got knocked off, but the six and eight are also hitting. So he actually, um, you know, they kind of worked well together. It was actually really interesting watching that. So um, yeah, you don't have to pay this progression on its own. You can mix it in with anything else you're, you're doing on the table. So, but I think it's a useful little progression to accelerate your wins. When you have a couple of back-to-back -back wins, you actually, can make some good returns versus just flat betting. Um, nothing you do is gonna overcome the house edge, so I wanna be clear about that. Uh, but uh, parlaying your wins is certainly a way to, to make your money quick when things are going well for you. So I'll leave it there and thank you for watching. <laughs>